So at the beginning of November, I decided I needed to take control of my finances. Um, I've struggled with depression most of my life. And these past few years, my mental health has taken a beating. And some of the ways that I usually cope with mental health struggles is to shop, <laughs> eat, and run away going on search of something new and exciting to experience. These coping mechanisms though have not been the healthiest and they have affected me physically. My physical health has um, been affected. My finances obviously have been affected and my relationships have been affected as well. So I decided to use this month to break me of these unhealthy habits and take control of my life yet again. So welcome to No Spend November, where we are on the search for adventures that are free. Just because we are trying to crack down on spending doesn't mean we have to sacrifice on those things that bring us joy, because there are many experiences out there that will not add to our debt, but will still add value to our life. So make sure you subscribe, hit those like buttons, and join us for this journey. Our first week of No Spend November, well, it's gone pretty well, but it also has been a challenge. <laughs> our first adventure was 100% free since we set out to explore our own backyard. I am blessed to live on a large property that is enjoyable to walk through. Bo and I, I took our roommate Grizz with us for our adventure through the fields and trees behind our home. Although we have walked these trails many times before, the boys always find it exciting and just being in nature is enough for me to get the energy boost I need. To save money on gas, we stuck close to home for our next adventure. So this week we drove the 12 minutes <laughs> to Rideau River Provincial Park. I have visited and camped at so many provincial parks over the last few years, but I have never set foot on this one that I pass by on a regular basis, mainly because it's so close to home. But not this time. We crossed this one off our list of parks to experience and enjoyed the quiet and sunny November day swimming and walking along the Rideau River. Today's no spend adventure is Rideau River Provincial Park. And uh, it's no spend because it's free to enter right now because it's closed. So you just park outside of the gates and walk in and explore the park. And it's kind of nice because I wouldn't really probably come here. Um, I definitely won't camp here uh, for two reasons. It's very close to home. We're about 15 minutes that way and it's also really just have good reviews so it just doesn't make sense to spend the money and sleep here when home is so close but because it's no spend november and it's free to enter right now we are going to enjoy it on this beautiful rare beautiful november day november 6th it's 19 degrees this is insane i love it enchiladas tonight because I had the kit in my cupboard and I'm trying to use up all my food that I have on hand to try to save some money on groceries because we're on a very strict grocery budget as much as we are on in an adventure budget because the other area I spend the most of my money on is food. 
So I gave myself $60 this week to spend on groceries and I did pretty good. I only went over by $6.56, which I know is over, but considering I usually just spend as much as I want. I buy whatever I want. I, I shop with no real list or if I do have a list, I'm like, oh, I could get that now, get that now, get that now. The reason I went over is because I did buy some noodles that were on sale and some more um, dairy-free milk, which I didn't exactly need, but I don't want to run out this week. So I got those two things and that weren't on my list. If I had stayed on my list, I would have been in budget. And one of the things though that made it really hard to stay in budget was chicken. Trying to find chicken for the enchiladas. Um, it is crazy expensive and I could only get big batches of it, like family sized things. And I'm only one person. I don't need a family sized pack of chicken. So I just trying to find some chicken to put in my enchiladas is going to cost me at the very least $11. I didn't have $11 left at that point. I only had eight. <laughs> so what I did, sorry, I got two dogs fighting behind me here. Um, what I did find was plant-based chicken, which was uh, $6.50, which was in budget, which I'm gonna beef up with some rice. I know there's not normally rice in enchiladas, but we're gonna add it in. Um, just so that it, if I need to, if I need to, if I don't have enough chicken in that bag, I will add the rice. And if I do have enough chicken in the bag, we're just gonna put rice on the side <laughs> and have that. That is tonight's plan. And that is our first grocery challenge of our new sticking to an extreme budget um, challenge. Cause yeah. Things have gotten out of hand and I need to start paying attention more to where my money is going and get myself back on track so we can go and adventure more and go to all these places that I really really want to go to so yeah dinner should be good and it went kind of to a mush um, <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see hopefully it'll just taste good So it looks good and smells good. And it's boop. Eddie. And here we've got vegan enchilada with side salad for dinner. So it actually tastes pretty good. It's not that bad. It's a little mushier than regular chicken would be, but it tastes good. So it's a win. Yay. So this week has been stressful. Um, and it would have been so easy to fall back into those old habits and just fill my Amazon cart and buy all those foods I was craving, but I didn't. I made it through. <laughs> And it might take a while before I see any real improvement in any of these areas. But if I can stay focused on the future I want and stay this path, it can actually happen. So thank you for joining me on this journey and encouraging me along the way.